This video is a quick guide to changing filters on a Power Curbers 5700C. Make sure the engine and fluids are cool before doing any maintenance on your machine. Also be sure to relieve pressure trapped in the hydraulic system. You can do this by depressing the bleeder valve located on top of the tank until you stop hearing air escape. First we will look at the hydraulic return filters. There are two return filters located on top of the hydraulic tank. Remove the four bolts on each filter cap. Remove each cap and inspect the o-ring. Replace the o-rings if they are damaged. Remove the old elements. Insert the new elements and reinstall the caps. Also on top of the tank is the breather filter. It is attached to a long tube in the middle of the tank. This filter simply unscrews from the tube and the new one can be attached. Below the engine compartment doors, you will find the servo filter. The servo filter is accessed from underneath the machine. The filter element is in a reddish brown housing. Unscrew the housing and remove the old filter. Insert the new element and reinstall the housing. Several filters reside inside the engine compartment. One is the charge filter, which is on the right side of the engine compartment in a black housing. Unscrew the housing and remove the old filter. Insert the new element and reinstall the housing. After servicing your filters, check the hydraulic oil level sight glass. It will certainly need to be topped off. Above the charge filter is the large black air filter housing. Lift the plastic lock and rotate the end cover counterclockwise. This will allow you to remove the end cover. There is a primary and secondary air filter. Remove both elements and replace with new filters. Reinstall the housing cover by rotating it clockwise until it locks. There are two fuel filters on the machine. Before servicing the fuel filters, close the fuel valve located beneath the tank. The primary fuel filter is mounted to the engine near the top. This filter spins off. Do not pre-fill the new filter. Install the fuel filters dry. The pre-fuel filter is also a water separator. It is located behind the charge filter, but lower than the primary fuel filter. Be careful, there are wires on the bottom of the filter that must be unplugged before the filter is removed. This filter also has a water drain valve on the bottom. Be sure the valve on the new filter is closed before you install it. Again, install the fuel filters dry. Remember to reinstall the wires after the new filter is in place. Now you can reopen the valve on the fuel tank. A primer pump is part of the filter housing. This pump will prime both fuel filters. Pump the primer until the resistance becomes firm. Then try to start the engine. If the engine does not start within 30 seconds of cranking, repeat the priming process. Clean fuel is essential for modern low emissions engines. The sight glass for engine coolant is at the very top of the engine compartment on the surge tank. Make sure the machine is level and the engine is cold before checking the sight glass. The coolant level should be in the middle of the sight glass. If it is low, add coolant through the top of the surge tank. You should add a mix of 50% water and 50% extended life coolant. The engine oil filter is on the mold side of the engine. There is an access panel behind the mold. 
and above the vibrator quick connects. Remove the access panel using the two latches. From underneath the machine, drain the oil from the pan using a drain tube. After draining the oil, remove the drain tube and replace the cap. Now you can change the oil filter. Unscrew the old filter. Fill the new filter with clean oil, lubricate the seal, and install the new filter. Now, fill the engine with oil meeting Cummins specifications. The engine holds 16.5 quarts or 15.6 liters of oil. Filters should be changed at 50 hours on a new machine. After that, they should be changed every 250 hours. Hydraulic oil should be replaced every 2,000 hours or every two years. You have now performed a complete filter change on your 5700C.